What's going on guys? And in this video today, I want to talk to you guys all about this new insane Instagram algorithm update. Now, as you can see by the title, it does actually talk about hashtags and how to use hashtags with this new Instagram algorithm update. Now this update itself is supposedly coming out in a few weeks time. It could be any time now. I don't know the exact date, but it should be within the next few weeks. Now I was lucky enough to get this and know about this a few weeks back. So I wanted to share it with you guys just before it fully gets laid out everywhere. I'm sure maybe some of you have this updated on your accounts already. And as it gets rolled out and rolled out, it's obviously going to affect the way that we post content on Instagram and interact with our Instagram accounts for growth and to get our content seen by more and more people. But guys, let's head straight into it. So before we dive straight in, let's talk about the existing Explore page. Currently, as you can see about up here, I'm going to put my screenshot here of my account. It shows you the Instagram Explore page shows you content that they believe that you're interested in. They are pro pretty much just guessing what you're interested in. It's not categorized in anywhere you can see there's loads of different forms of content you know there's pet content travel content car content luxury content all sorts of different content happens on my explore page and i'm sure you get a similar sort of thing depending on what you interact in but as you can see they kind of just assume what you're interested in that explore page right now is built purely for that focus but this explore page is getting updated very, very, very soon. I'm not sure on the exact date, like I said, but it's coming very soon. It's gonna change the way we actually post on Instagram. And we try and build our accounts, okay? So let's dive into actually how the Explore page is going to be changing, okay? And I'm gonna leave another screenshot up here again so you guys can see it. You may have seen it already, like I said. you Some of you may have it. It's getting rolled out um, over the next few weeks, so I'm told. But yeah, I got told about this a few weeks ago, and as you can see on the top, it actually starts to categorize what we're interested in, okay? So it's gonna show us loads of different niches within Instagram, you know, the main niches that accounts are seen on Instagram, and it's niched off different explore pages for every single different niche. So what this is gonna do for us, what it means for us as accounts, is that we need to use hashtags, okay, to categorize our content, our posts, our account, so Instagram knows what our content is about, so we have a higher chance of being seen in the travel, you know, explore page, or the food explore page, or the pet explore page. We need to be categorizing our account more, okay? We need to niching down our actual account. You know, some people like to post all different sorts of content, but I think how this is gonna you know, expand from here and how people need to react to this change in the Instagram algorithm is actually start to niche off a bit more than maybe what they're doing. Don't have it on loads of different niches, maybe stick to one or two different niches and really go after those and try and hit that explore page. Okay, power likes, of course, are always gonna be the same. They're always gonna help and they still do work to this day. I'm sure some of you have seen my account. I'm still going viral every single post right now. So power likes are needed. So if you combine the power likes with a number of hashtags that are going to help us rank in those actual specific explore pages, that is really going to help our growth. So it, hashtags, you know, for the last three to six months, they haven't really had much impact, okay? What you normally have and typically have with hashtags is you'll get some people with bots follow your account and then unfollow you about a day later after they realize you haven't followed them because they have just said it to you know follow people who put certain hashtags to try and get followers in that sort of niche. So as you know, hashtags have been working really badly as of late, but they're gonna come back in a strong way with this. Uh, algorithm update 100% because you're really going to see people scroll through each of the different explore pages and look for content that they are genuinely interested in at that moment as well. So if we can capture their attention in the explore page at that moment, whilst they're interested in travel, pets, food, beauty, whatever it is, we are going to get 
a much more higher chance of getting people to follow us. So we need to really categorize our accounts now and really start to prepare our accounts for this change as it gets rolled out over the next, let's say, month. I'm not sure exactly, but we really need to start planning ahead for this change as it's definitely going to impact the way we do it. But some of you may ask, how many hashtags should we actually use? Now, some of you may know that it's good to only do a, a number of hashtags. You know, five to seven is a really good range or anywhere between three to 10 at tops is a really comfortable, good range to have hashtags in, okay? You do not want to write 30. It looks spammy, okay? Instagram knows it looks spammy. It thinks you're just trying to rank for loads of different things and it's actually gonna negatively affect that post. You really just wanna go after a number of really specific hashtags that are actually about that content. Go after some really broad ones such as hashtag travel, hashtag lifestyle, hashtag dogs, you know, really broad ones and then go after some niche, uh, really niche ones, uh, specific ones down below as well. So really do a mixture of both. That's really going to help you get that on the explore page, especially when you're using viral growth methods, methods such as power likes and power comments and engagement groups, DM groups, all of that sort of stuff as well. So it's going to be interesting to see the update happen and be rolled out. I can't wait to see how my account gets affected by that. And I'll document that to you guys as well as my, my account gets impacted, maybe negatively, maybe positively, hopefully positively. But as I see the impact on my account, I will document that and share that with you guys to show you the process that you know I'm specifically putting in place. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see this get rolled out. Interesting to see how Instagram continues to develop as time goes by. As you know, they release a lot of updates, but it's it's, it's good. It's it's really building out the user experience of the platform and helping people um, ultimately, and really cutting crap spammy accounts out of there. So guys, you know, I've talked about bots before. Some of you still use them and that's absolutely fine, especially if you're going after like super niche, small audiences and you're not trying to hit the explore page. You're trying to just go for maybe a local audience or a really specific audience that can't be targeted any other way than going after really like specific accounts. Whereas obviously my account, I do the viral growth method. So this is obviously going to affect my account the most. If you do just do follow and follow, it's not really going to affect you. But if you are doing viral growth methods, you're trying to hit that explore page. You really need to create a plan around this new change and make sure you implement it. But guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I love talking about Instagram. My Instagram account grew to 100K in about 68, 67 days. I can't remember the exact amount of days, but it was around that period. I can't wait to bring you more content about Instagram. I'm still thinking about bringing that video out on how I did it from zero to 100K and sharing that with you guys. So I can't wait for that. But thank you very much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. If you're just lurking around, you're not subscribing, get on that subscribe list, click that notification bell. I can't wait to bring you more and more content about helping growing your personal brand. Because I love personal branding, so should you, because it's a massive, massive opportunity. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.